So I'm on my way to Bellevue to do this photo shoot. Uh, I didn't cancel it because I felt pretty solid and as long as I have it like strapped, uh, it should be good. Uh, also, they said I should move around my arm around a little, so I'm gonna just use that as an excuse to hold my camera and all that stuff. So as long as that's good, I think I'll be okay for today. But not gonna lie, putting on clothes, taking off clothes, cleaning, and doing everything with one hand is kind of rough. Oh, but you know, this is the life I chose. Live alone, all stuff. I'm actually I didn't get an X-ray yesterday because I felt pretty solid I don't want to spend that money and I'm actually canceling my appointment because since my insurance didn't go through I'm paying out of pocket and then the appointment for the checkup during the day when I got all this uh, that was like three four hundred dollars so I'm, I don't want to pay that again so I'm just not gonna go got home um, well not just well, just got home because I came home uploaded the photos and actually fun fact I actually shot for these people a while back like pre-covid uh, maybe two months before covid so it was actually good seeing them i completely forgot that i shot for them the name of the company that i was shooting for sounded so familiar that was another real estate company that's why because usually when it's familiar they're usually the same company just different people but it was actually for this acupuncture lady uh who's uh like has her own business but she actually ended up giving me um like this like joint pain thing for like my scabs and all that stuff in my fall because she found out as you can see like my elbow is pretty solid like this actually it hurts just a little bit but everything's pretty solid and it was pretty tight that we like got to reconnect and we talked and we both weren't expecting to see each other again but yeah then we she gave me this on the house uh and then i came home uploaded those photos went to h mart bought some fried chicken and uh uh, katsu don for tomorrow and i'm gonna eat the fried chicken right now and i'm actually gonna try this out uh but yeah this is kind of sick like running into people you know that you haven't ran into in a while and look at that look at that small world so tomorrow i am back at i'm going to work again it's wednesday I actually canceled my uh revisit or check up or whatever um, just because I feel pretty solid um, outside of just like this hand not healing that well or like scabbing over um, everything else feels pretty solid and yeah I think I'm ready to go back to work I'll probably wear my brace tomorrow just because there is like a slight pinch if I move it too much um, so yeah maybe I'll just work with one arm but honestly having this like past four days off um, I don't know if I felt like I rested, but I didn't really, you know, like my brain's always going, uh, but I did watch a lot of TV. So I actually feel like, yeah, I guess I rested a lot because I, I finished New Girl and I basically watched like three seasons of it. And then I finished the good, I caught up on the good place and I caught up on an anime that I was planning on watching, but yeah, just watched a lot of TV. So wasn't very productive. Um, ended up doing that shoot, uh, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, let's see how tomorrow goes. So, so, uh, just got up, got home from my first shift at work, but I think I'm actually gonna use PTO and uh, take off my second shift and the shift tomorrow. Uh, so, a little update: the Wednesday when I went back to work, uh, after like three hours in, my body just started hurting. Um, so I applied for medical leave, like unpaid medical leave, but I got denied, um, which is fine. And then honestly, my arm is basically solid. Like I just can't flex it. Like I can pick stuff up, but if I it has to, like if it's too heavy, then it hurts my body. Um, uh, and then my legs hurt more than anything. The bruise on like the side, there wasn't a bruise, and now there's like a giant bruise. Um, but it's kind of like toning down. It's basically better now. Um, but yeah, so my legs, my knee really hurts uh, where I scraped it. Um, it feels like that's gonna bruise soon. Like it just hurts putting weight on it. Um, but I found out I, my PTO, because the plan was not to use PTO because I was gonna save it for Japan. But now that I know that the PTO doesn't roll over for next year, I'm actually just um, going to use it then. I'm, uh, dang, I have to toss these pumpkins. 
yeah, so I'm gonna uh, use the PTO for my shift later today, tomorrow, and um, Monday maybe. Um, but honestly, after that, it should be solid. And yeah, so I guess I get to relax a little bit again. Um, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go down and toss in my ballot because I've, it's been just sitting on my desk for like the past like week. So I just got this hoodie. I got one for me and my sister. This is actually in the girl section of American Eagle. It has like this like fluffy hoodie right here. But I thought this looked way clean when I saw it. And I was like, this doesn't even make sense. Like who cares if it's a girl's hoodie? Like, what was it? One second. My sister said something that I really liked. Basically, it was just clothes does clothes don't have gender. And I was like, dang. I actually have like one of my favorite sweaters is actually another like one from like a girl's section. But I just think like a lot of like these stores, like these like more name brand stores, just focus on like having good girl clothes. And if you look at the guy clothes, it's really hard to find good like guy clothes that aren't like generic, very basic, very common, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, so that's why I got this hoodie. I was like, this is, this is clean. This is clean. Dang, look at this. Oh, okay. So I started doing laundry today and I lost my laundry card, right? So I went out to go buy another one. And now, and after doing like, after loading like 30 bucks on it, plus it takes like $5 to make it. I did all my laundry. I'm drying the last load and guess what I find? I find my laundry card and I spent like an hour finding because I did not want to buy another one and I found it and it was stuck in my blanket or my uh, cover, I don't know. Um, and so when I dried it, I just found, it was stuck on the wall of like the, the dryer and like, I was like, God damn it. 